Namaste everyone. Welcome back to Nidra Maya Yoga. My name is Miss Mishra and I'm working as a physiotherapist and Hatha Yoga teacher. In this little session, I'm going to show you certain acupressure points. With these points, you will be able to help yourself towards releasing neck pain, headache or shoulder pain or upper back pain. Today, the point is a very interesting point called Lu Sen. Lu Sen is a point on both of your hands again, um, between the index finger and the middle finger. You have these two knuckles and you just go above them and there you go. Here it is. So I find it very easy to use my ring finger or my middle finger to press this point on the other hand. Like this, I show you this too and exactly here. So again, this point you can pressure or massage mildly for 60 seconds. As we always advise, release your shoulders and longening your neck Close your eyes and really relax while massaging this point. Under your closed lids, you can gaze the Trishti Agnya Chakra. Observe your breath and whether you just hold this point or you circle a little bit. That's absolutely your decision, how you feel comfortable. Make sure your breath is flowing. Let your shoulders melt away from your ears and relax your jaw and feel the nice pressure on that point. Lu Sen. And now relax and we are going to the other hand again, just to remind you. It's between the first two knuckles here and above them, there. Find a good position, whether you use the index finger or your middle finger or whichever finger feels right for you. And then relax your shoulders again, longening your neck, chin a little bit down and then gaze inner trishti the inner gazing point, Agnya Chakra, between your eyebrows. It's a mild focus as well as a mild massage. You don't need to give a lot of pressure, just as you feel comfortable. You can circle or just hold that. Make sure your breath is flowing in and out just by itself. Don't hold your breath. Sixty seconds is fine. There is no need for longer pressure. You just observe the nice acupressure on that point, loosen. And there you go. This point is not only for the tension in the neck, but also for the shoulder especially when you have a lot of stiffness in the upper back, especially in neck area and in the shoulders, this point is very advisable. So whenever you feel in the morning, for example, you stand up, you feel that already, or whenever you feel that it could be helpful to release this area a little bit, you can use this point. Obviously, acupressure is something which is maybe not immediately for you something you might feel like for example when i was 16 i went to the dentist and i was like not a fan of the dentist obviously and he had to do something on my teeth and i was not happy and he asked me if i would like to have acupuncture 
a little tiny golden needle and so that I don't have pain. I was like, that's a very funny thing you're saying. You think this tiny little needle will help me? He said, let's see. Then he put the tiny little needle in the tip of my finger and then there was no pain at all. Since that time, I was silent to make jokes about that. And over the years as a therapist, I learned so much about these points and acupressure, acupuncture. Though I am not doing acupuncture, I'm just doing the acupressure. But I can say out of my experience, it's really, really working. And so whenever you now practice these tiny little episodes here, you know, you give yourself a remembering, you remind yourself that these points are there. And so I'm pretty sure this will nurture your inner healing capacity and your awareness about your inner healing. So good luck with this and see you next time. Namaste.